my dear son, if you are reading this, I will most likely be dead. Hunted for years by the evil henchmen of the demon pirate Kleplak, they will surely find me and try to take our family treasure from me. But I will not let them. I've hidden our family treasure in a chest on a remote island somewhere in the vast ocean. I know that only a member of our family can ever recover it, and that task falls to you, my son. To unlock the chest, you require an artifact with celestial properties. Craft the Moonrock Sword, find the chest, and keep our family's legacy alive. You are the only son of Bloodnose, mighty pirate, and nothing can stop you in your quest for vengeance. Now go, my son, and avenge me. Yar! A vast is scurvy dogs. Shiver me timbers, hoist the mainsail, and all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Suddenly Ninja, and you are watching another episode of Indie Adventures. Our current adventure takes place in a game called Salts, which is an open-world pirate-themed exploration game that is currently an running an early access build. Now, I actually did an episode of Indie Beginning on this game not too long ago, but I thought the game could do with some more attention because the developer has been adding a lot of stuff lately, including, but not limited to, the legendary Moonrock Sword. Now, a Moonrock Sword is the stuff of legends, because the actual Moonrocks, the stuff you use to craft it, they are incredibly hard to find. They only spawn once in about 10 occasions, and I have only seen them spawn on beaches, so I thought it would be fun to try and craft a Moonrock Sword. Let's pick up this log over here. We're gonna need it. We're gonna be uh, be building a boat before too long to get out to one of these uh, these other islands. I hope this uh, this crafting of the Moonrock Sword doesn't take too long because I intend for this adventure to last about five episodes, maybe six, but definitely a lot longer because I don't want to turn it into this long-winded Let's Play series. I don't want to turn it into a Let's Play series at all. So, just these five six short episodes where I show you the ins and outs of the game, something a little bit. Uh, more expanded than an, maybe an episode of any beginning could do because those are usually only four or five minutes long and this is going to be like, I don't know, an hour in total so you can really get a basic idea of what the game is all about. Right now I'm strutting about this uh, this sort of starter slash tutorial island just picking up all the logs I can find and uh, somewhere over here there has to be... Oh, that's you and my cat, don't mind him. Somewhere over here there has to be a chest with some goodies in it. Um, that is going to allow us to build the starting raft. Let's see. At, at the moment, I can't see it anywhere. It, it could be anywhere hidden in this underbrush. In the meantime, just look at this game. This game is still in early access. It's running on my, uh, my well, my mediocre slash low-end PC. When I bought my PC, it was it, it was already mediocre, but it's I think it's it's finally turned uh, low-end now. But it is still running this game quite, quite well. I've had to limit my, uh, my, uh, the FPS uh, in Fraps to 25 FPS, uh, so otherwise my computer would probably blow up, but it, it, the game is still handling it pretty well. I just can't see the chest. I can see logs. We're gonna need more than logs to be able to build this, uh, this raft. Let's see. Oh, there's a weak bowler. If only we had a pickaxe. I actually recorded this, uh, this episode earlier today already, but I recorded about 50 minutes of footage, and uh, things went well, things happened, I found a lot of interesting stuff, and then at the end I found out that, uh, well, I wasn't recording what I was saying, so it was just 15 minutes of me playing this game without any speech or talking whatsoever. That would have been boring. I, I don't like doing that. Let's see what we can find here. Those are plant fibers. You can eventually make, uh, if, you, if you get enough of them, you can make a swath of cloth from them, which you can then use to make sails. Or sails, not sails. There's actually, uh, there's been a lot of development uh, in this game. I, I believe that the next update is going to feature at least fishing. So you can sit on your raft and just uh, hook in the fish all day long. And, uh, well, I, I, I believe they are they're, they're really on top of the development right now. There's a uh, subreddit for this, and the guy who's developing this, uh, I believe his name is Will, he's from Lava Boot Studios, and uh, 
he does an awesome job at uh, keeping all his followers up to date about what is happening with the uh, with the game. Let's go over here. Let's see. There's, you see, I, I've recorded this episode not once but twice today already, and twice there were technical difficulties. But in in both those tries, I could find this starting chest in less than ten minutes. It didn't take me a half an hour walking around this island to find this damn chest and and make the starting raft. But gosh darn it! Is this is this it? No, this is just another log. I do try to, to, to pick up all the logs because, well, there's not really limitations on uh, on inventory space yet. You basically have an infinite amount of inventory space, as far as I know, because I've never had uh, that much stuff that the game was informing me that my inventory was full. Oh my god, did we f Yes, we found it. Great. Let's see what's in it. We have... Two swatches of cloth, two golden coins, four wooden logs, one piece of coal, and three plant fibers. Let's loot all of that, finally. I've been, like, recording for half an hour. I guess you're only going to see two or three minutes of that, but this has taken me half an hour of recording. Uh, let's go over to the beach. It's... oh, extra logs. Those are always good. It's a shame, because in an earlier playthrough I did of uh, this episode, I... I actually found a, a pickaxe just lying next to the chest, and I was able to get all these boulders and get some rocks, but I guess, I guess this is just going to do. Uh, I believe if we press tab, we go to our inventory, and I believe we have a book called Basic Crafting. There we go. What we need for a pickaxe is one hard stone and one log. But how the hell do you get a hard stone without... Uh, oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We, we, we can make a club. And then we can club those rocks over there. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, C for crafting. I believe you make a club with... Yes. Just uh, wooden locks. This is actually not that streamlined yet. You have to double-click uh, ingredients over here, and they show up in the crafting window over here, which is not the best way to do it. I mean, it's a whole screen off. But for now, yeah, I guess you can do it. I guess it's, it's, it's not that dramatic if it doesn't... Uh, if it's not that streamlined yet. I mean, like I said, the game is in early access, and the guys working on this are already doing an incredible job making this game look as good as it does. Let's see if we can equip our uh, our club. So I just pressed 2 on it, so that means now if I go out of my inventory and I press 2, there's the club. Okay. Let's see if we can club this buller. We actually can. That is, I did not know that. This was a random guess. So let's see what we can do. Um... There we go. That's a stone block, a flint stone, and a piece of coal. Right. There we go. I believe it's time for us to uh, to go out there and uh, see what we can do. See if we can find some more boulders, maybe. Is it now? What What did the crafting window uh, actually say for making a pickaxe? I do really want to make a pickaxe because if I don't make a pickaxe right now, there's a general rule that you're going to see your first... Uh, moon rock ore, and you're not going to be able to uh, to mine it because you can only mine that with a pickaxe. So that's one hardstone and one lock. Press C for crafting. Uh, it's a lock. Does this count as hardstone? It doesn't. It's regular stone. So we can't make a pickaxe yet. We do have our trusty, trusty gavel there. Okay, let's go back up the mountain and let's see if there's any islands nearby that uh, may net us some more profits. This game is, uh, is at its current state, it's quite slow to, to start, actually, if you don't have any... Oh, look! There we go! It's a pickaxe I was talking about. I actually found this, like, <laughs> like two times before. Okay, so, scratch making a pickaxe, we have one right now. Uh, let's bind the pickaxe to one. So now if I press one, I get out the pickaxe. Cool! Okay, let's continue our, uh, our climb up the mountain. I keep forgetting what I say, because, because... Every time I, I start a story or start a train of thought, something awesome happens and, and I, I completely lose what I was talking about. That looks like a good island. It's nice and big. Well, there's some boulders. Let's get out. Nope, not that one, but the pickaxe. There we go. See what we can do. Comes out. It's another stone. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Chesley, I, I believe it's actually nice that you can pick up uh, all the stuff you want and not worry about inventory space. I've always been someone who has uh, a, a, an OCD, a particular kind 
of OCD when it comes to video games and inventory stuff. Let's see. Um, C for crafting. Let's see if I can remember this. It's I believe you need logs and you need swath of cloth. There we go. That's a basic sail raft I can uh, I can create now. We picked up all these logs and we got these uh, these pieces of cloth from the chest. Let's press craft. And now this is one of those things that's not going to go into your inventory. Instead, like at the screen it says, you press B to open your boat window. And you can basically now spawn as many of these bad boys as you like. But I'm too far away, I actually need to be pointing at the water. Uh, there we go. And this is actually where the game uh, starts to get good. Oh, my raft is leaving without me. Wait. Okay, there we go. This is where salt is uh, it comes into its own, really. Because walking around the island and gathering stuff and doing all that is fun. But it's not the whole game. This is what the game revolves about. If I now interact with the mast, you can see there is our swaths of cloth. And we are now propelled away from our favorite island. By starting island, we're going to go seek uh, new ventures over at that island. But like I was saying, I, I, I do like the fact that you don't have to worry about inventory space right now. I used to play RuneScape a lot. And th this was about 15 or... or 14 years ago, something like that, and was actually one of the very first um, MMORPGs, I guess you can call it, that that I played. And I used to always carry with me certain types of items. So I used to carry like food with me and, and logs to make fires and matches. Or, or, what was it called? A matchbox? I can't even remember. This is fucking 12 years ago. And uh, just, just some basic survival tools, because I thought that if I would ever get lost in this big wide world that was RuneScape, and I didn't have anything to eat, or I didn't have anything to cook with, then my character would die of malnutrition, or starvation or something. So I used to carry this stuff with me all the time, and of course, RuneScape being a game where you only have uh, a limited number of inventory slots, this used to take up a huge amount of inventory slots for me, and I basically couldn't carry anything else. So, but I soon learned that that was not a problem, and my character couldn't just die like that. Let's see if we can park up right up on the beach there. I actually tried parking up in one of these, what do you call them, parking spaces for islands, I guess. And it didn't quite work. And, oh, oh, oh. and graceful dismount. There we go. I actually tried, like I said, I actually tried parking in one of these, uh, these things, and I thought it was safe. But the current was actually heading out to sea, so when I came back, my boat was somewhere over there, and I didn't want to swim it. So, I was basically stuck on the island. But uh, you also have to be careful with uh, certain islands because there could be... Oh, that actually scared me. There could be pirates are hiding. There could be pirates, and they may be the pirates that uh, killed my father, as you can see in the, uh, the little intro before this video. One stone, I'll take that. There's actually already pirates coded into the game. There's some islands that contain them. They will actively come after you and try to kill you, but they do also carry some very nice loot. So, I'm glad they implemented that. It just gives us another thing to do. I think, I don't see anything interesting on this side of the mountain. I think we're just going to go try and uh, just climb up to the top. Let's see what's over this hill. But yeah, you can usually spot an island. As I was saying, oh boy. Okay, okay, let's go. Jump. <laughs> As I was saying, you can usually spot a pirate, an island inhabited. Get away! Get away! Uh, uh, no! He is carrying one big axe. Oh, no, 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 no. This is... Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, that was stressful. Oh, I almost nearly died. I was just about to tell you guys that you can usually tell an island contains pirates when you see these little smoke plumes which they create by making fires, but of course on this side there were no smoke plumes, so I didn't expect this pirate to be here, but we prevailed. We made it. Let's see if we can uh, we can loot his body. I hope so. Hitbox doesn't seem to be very... oh there we go. We can loot his pants. He has another uh, swath of cloth, a gold coin, and a broken pirate axe. This axe is all splinters and shards. Find a couple more, and you might can salvage something out of them. Okay. The localization not being the best there, but then again, this game is early access. I do like to remind you guys of that, because uh, the, the the other video I did on this, the in-the-beginning video, which is basically a quick let's look at, um, 
That got a lot of comments. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that really scared me, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. We've died. We have died. Okay, no biggie. No biggie. Um, the game as it is right now, it retains all your current inventory when you die. And it brings you back to your current uh, save point. And I believe our current save point is still on the tutorial island. Because we didn't, well, we basically didn't save anywhere else. So we're back at tutorial island where we started. We're, we're back on the same hill. Uh, but we still have our inventory. So we have the pickaxe and the uh, the club and the books and all the stuff we had. So basically, we now just have to build a new boat. Oh, this is a nice one as well. I, I think we're going to end the episode here. This is one little thing I still want to show you. Because you see there's fruit hanging in the, uh, in the trees over there. And normally what you do is you try and jump up and grab it. But this game, this is something I found out while filming the In the Beginning episode. I was just like, hey... There's fruit hanging in the tree over there. Maybe if I hit the stem of the tree, it will fall down. You know, just a long shot. And lo and behold, I did that. And the fruit fell down. And actually glimmer, so it's a lot easier to pick up as well. So now we have some tasty fruit for whenever we uh, we lose some health next time. And, uh, and uh, we, we encounter some more pirates, I hope. For now, this has only been the first episode. Like I said, I think this, um, this train of indie adventures, if you can call it, I think uh, for salt we're going to do about four or five episodes. We can see we uh, we can uh, possibly build the Moonrock Sword. If not, we're still going to have a lot of fun in this game. And meanwhile, I'm just going to continue playing, um, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.